In this video, find out how to play PC VR games on your Pico 4 Wired. Coming up. First of all, you need to download Pico Link, and it's in the link in the description down below. Once you're on Pico's website, you want to go to software and then Pico Link, and then you want to scroll down to the bottom, and then you want to select Pico 4 and then download. And once it's downloaded, it should show up in your downloads folder, or if you're on Chrome or any of the other good ones, it will pop up in a bar at the bottom and you just need to click on that then once it's downloaded you want to click and open it up then a pop-up will show and it'll say do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device and you just need to click yes for some reason it does this to me every time i open the software and i just click yes and it's fine you then need to select your language then a license agreement will pop up and it'll want you to click the i accept this agreement and then click next then it'll ask you where you want to install the files. I just went with the default of program files. It, ca it causes less issues. Then you want to click next. Then it'll ask you about selecting additional tasks. And it'll ask you whether you want to create a desktop icon. I clicked it um, because it just makes life easier. You know where it is. You don't have to go to your search bar to try and find it. And then pin it to your desktop. And then click next. And then it'll be ready to install and you just need to click install. And then it will start to install the streaming assistant. It's called streaming assistant, even though on the website it says Pico link. Whether that will change in time, I don't know. And then once it's all completely installed, it will pop up with completing the streaming assistant setup wizard. And if you want to launch it straight away, you just need to tick the launch streaming assistant box and then click finish and it will pop up straight away. Then once you're actually in the software, it will start with a computer configuration check. It will check your GPU. It will check your CPU, your RAM and your OS, your operating system. And hopefully you get green lights on all of those. Then you want to click next. Then it will check if you've got the right software installed. So it will check whether you've got Steam VR installed, whether it has all the Pico drivers installed, which should come with the process, and whether Steam VR is added to the firewall list. And then you just need to click complete. Then it will ask you the mode that you want to pick. Now you can either pick Wi-Fi or USB. And we're doing the USB version. You need to make sure that you've got a USB free cable that's powerful enough to do the data side of it. I wouldn't personally click remember my choice because you, you want the option to be able to switch and it just makes it easier. So you click continue on the USB one and you're then presented with connect your VR headset to the computer via a USB free part. Generally, the industry standard is the blue. Although, for some reason, when I tried this first of all, one of my USB free parts didn't work. So, if that happens, you might wanna just swap to another one. And if you're happy with that, just click next. Then you might get this pop-up where it says ADB detected and you can close it. And if you've ticked the box auto close next time, it will close it and you won't get this pop-up again. And then it will start to look for your device. At this point is where you want to connect your USB cable to your computer and then put your headset on and go to the streaming assistant app in the library. If you do have any issues with it connecting and you've by any chance got OBS running, I found that what you need to do is shut OBS fully down and then set it all up, get it all running and then relaunch OBS. That's if you're, you know, streaming or you're using it to record in any way. If you don't know what OBS is, it probably doesn't matter. So if you go to your library and then you go to apps, you'll see streaming assistant. And it should pop up if you're already connected with desktop thingy. But if you've not already connected, and I'll just show you. And then... And there we go. Okay. So once it shows up, you want to just click connect. And you will see this pop up. And this is while it launches Steam. So what you might want to do is just take your headset off and double check that it's launching Steam. And then once you're fully set up, it should have all connected and been no problem. 
if Steam VR didn't launch, what you can do is obviously launch Steam VR itself. What you might notice is it might not actually pop up in the home space. What you want to do is click your menu button and you will then be presented with your actual library. And if you go into a game and then come out of the game, you should see the home space pop up. I don't know if this is a problem with Steam VR, but it seems to happen on my other headsets as well. So you just want to, like I say, launch a game and then come out of the game and then go to home and return to home and you should be good to go. Now, if you're wanting to do this wirelessly, so over Wi-Fi, it's a very similar setup. For one, you just need to make sure that you're on the same router. So your device needs to be on the same Wi-Fi name, as in like if you've got more than like one setting on your router, so you know, one name on your router, so let's say I don't know, Netgear 5G1, Netgear 5G2, and Netgear, then you'll need to select the exact same one that you're using. You need to really be using the 5G at least. So to do it, what you want to do is go to this part again, click on Wi-Fi, then we'll see this pop up again where it says streaming services stand. So you want to put your headset back on, your library again, same place apps and streaming service and then you'll see it pop up like this and you just want to go and connect and then wait for it to load and again you just need to wait for a steam vr to load up this doesn't seem to be affected by obs but you might have issues if something else is running at the same time, like I say, once you, what you're better off doing is just making sure that you launch this first before really anything else. And then if I click my menu, there we go. And again, same process. You launch a game. Then exit the game. And then go to home return to home wait for it to load and there we have obviously depending on your setup how good your router is that does matter a lot you need to make sure that you've got a really good router you're probably better off being in the same place as your router not your computer see what i did there and then you shouldn't have as much interference now, Pico are going to be launching a wireless adapter that I think should make things a lot simpler, but we've got to wait for that to actually be released first, and I will do a video on that when that is released. We also now have the option of using Virtual Desktop, which you can download from the Pico store as well, and I will be making a video on how to use that separately from these two. But if you have any more questions at all, let me know in the comments down below. I'll answer them all or someone else will from the community. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.